when you're first starting off in this game, finding water feels impossible. Not only that, but weapons, ammo, just getting out of the map alive is a challenge all in its own. How do you balance the risk versus reward mechanism in this game? Well, the answer to that is easy. You remove the risk. Who does that? Scav girl. How does she do that? By being fast as fuck. Seriously, you can get away with a lot just by simply outrunning everything. Even bullets most of the time, as demonstrated by this clip. Good times. Holy shit, dude. What the fuck? Her greatest aversion to risk is that you can do this run with absolutely just stock equipment. It is best to have like the second rig you get, but it's not necessary. In fact, I did this without even realizing I had the second rig for a long time. That way, if you do die, you're not losing anything valuable. And if you wanted to, you could just go recover you the stuff off your body. It's on the way anyways. So where do we get all this sweet, sweet loot? That's simple. The mech trench. Simple to say, not an easy thing to do. I get that. Just use this route, be aware of your surroundings, and be ready to run at a, any given moment. So let's set this up. First, we got to pick Scav Girl, obviously. And then we head over to Regents. Make sure you pick the mech trenches. Not only that, but when you're in the mech trenches, make sure you click over on the spawn point. A lot of times the elevator will be selected and you don't want that. Where you want to go is the trench. Here you'll spawn behind a giant trashed out mech on top of a pile of debris. So here we are, we spawn in behind the mech, right? I'm gonna use the cam on this one to get a bird eye view. Once to the bottom of the debris, make sure you head left. Careful, sometimes there's a bunch of cyborgs in this area. Just let them pass and they'll start to fight with whoever's in the area, basically. If you stick this left-hand side, there will be this large like overhang that you can just hide in. And in the street right next to you will be a fight going on. Usually this is in between like a mech and some cyborgs, some ruskies, you know, whatever. There's, a, there's any number of things that can spawn in this area to include the medium mechs. So be careful of those. Once you've stuck to the left-hand side for a while, you can cross the road when they're engaged or when everybody's dead. Even if they're engaged and there's a lot of action going on, you can still loot a few bodies. But keep in mind, this is pretty early game, so you're not really going to have a lot of room anyway. If you're going for items worth a lot of money, you can take this opportunity now to rummage through cyborg corpses. You can find some stuff off the other bodies, but mostly what you would want to pick up is broken weapons. Okay, after you've gotten what you can out of the street, you're going to want to head to this area over here, which is actually going to be your primary looting area. This is where you're going to get the water, ammo, and attachments. If you head into the way on the left, there's an inner stairway that you can use to get to the second level. Or you can take this external stairway on the right to bypass that. You're going to miss a little bit of gear, but there might be a patrol on that bottom level that you're trying to avoid. If you do run into something, you could either just run away or if you do have a good weapon, engage. Now that you've made it inside here, take your time, loot, figure out what you want to take. If it's ammo, plenty of opportunities for that. There will also be opportunities to loot weapon attachments. You can get plenty of water in this area. You can also, if you're lucky, sometimes a jump attachment will spawn in. Large crates, you name it, explosives, they're here too. It's all basically right in this area. From here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna head on over to that like button and hit it. 
After all, if you made it this far in the video, it's the least you could do, right? It really helps tickle the fancy of the eternal mechanical techno YouTube gods. Get this video out there to more people. Thanks, I appreciate that. Now let me earn your subscription. When you're done, head through this door to the east. And this is kind of into the medical area where you can get a lot of medical supplies. You'll see a couple areas where they spawn in. Also, beware of the roaming patrols. If you end up getting any problems, just simply try to run away from them, usually back where you came from. Once the patrol has left and it's safe, or maybe it's just clear to begin with, go ahead and head in. There'll be a couple of different looting locations right next to this door where you can get a lot of medical supplies. Once you're done looting the medical supplies, you can exit out this little gateway here out the north. You're going to drop down into here, and in front of you, sometimes there will be a mech or a spawn patrol. Now, you could buy your time and hope the patrol walks off, but chances are they're going to see you anyways. I've had them come right up this alley and just instantly notice me. Best thing i found to do is just run for it. There is some stuff to get stuck on and when you're running through, so be aware of that. But mostly, if you just run through, have a couple med kits ready, you can tank the shots, get to the extraction. Sometimes the door will be closed, so that'll take a couple extra seconds. But once you do, home free, baby. Damn close call. On a day of close calls. Okay, back to that subscription. Certainly, if you've made it this far in the video, I had to have earned it. I'm really trying to hit that thousand mark and I greatly appreciate it. Anything helps. Other than that, man, hope you stick around and watch some of our other videos. Have a good one.